Hello! Welcome back! This week you did so much in your first week of remote learning. You took a tour of our classroom, you set up your workspace, you drew a self-portrait of yourself, you practiced all kinds of skills in your listening, and you heard several stories. It was such a great week already. Next week, we're going to get the chance to talk to each other and learn a lot about each other whenever we meet in a normal meeting. I'm so excited to do that, and I hope you had a really good week. I bet you're tired. Your brains worked so hard these past few days. Today we're going to talk about Expo Markers. It is such a treat that you get to use these special Expo Markers. And you had one in your Bulldog bag. They look like this. You guys got a little bit skinnier ones. These markers are so special and they're really expensive and we have to take care of them. They're not like normal marker markers. They're special. So I want you to pull out your Expo Marker. You got it? Put it up in the air. Put it to the side. Put it to the other side. Tap it on your head. Okay, you got it. So these Expo markers, we're going to use these all year. And I don't want you to have to get any more. I want you to get this one and I want it to last all the way until June. So let's talk about a couple things. Whenever you use the Expo marker, you take the lid off and you put the lid on the top of the marker like that. Your lid will go right over the marker. So we don't want to lose this lid because when we're done with it, it always needs to go back on the marker so that the ink doesn't dry out. That's really important. So whenever you're done with your Expo marker, you take the lid off and put it right back on. All right, so that's rule number one. There are a couple other rules about Expo markers and you should have this plastic pocket on the front, there might be your um, name page or some numbers. I want you to flip it on the back so it's just a regular whiteboard. Let's do some practicing. So whenever I write with my Expo marker, I never want to push down on my marker because if the tip goes inside, it is never coming back out. So we want to write nice and light, just like we would using a pencil. So that's our second rule. Our first rule is put the lid on. The second rule is never push it down. We want to write nice and light, just like we would with a pencil. Our next rule is some of my friends, and I know you guys would never do this, but some of my friends, oh, they want to color in the whole page like this. Now that is a really bad idea because it's using up all the ink from our Expo marker and it will never last us the whole way to June. So I don't wanna see you doing that. Deal? And that's our third rule. And our fourth rule is we're never going to erase with our hands because it gets your hands all yucky and it messes up the whiteboard so that it makes it kind of like slimy and oily from our hands. We always want to erase with that sock that you got or a real eraser. Look how nice. So let's do some practicing. If you have your marker and your whiteboard, let's practice writing two circles. One, two. Now, I hope no one pushed really hard down or no one did that coloring in. That is a waste of our resources. We don't want to do that. Let's practice by drawing a squiggly line. Oh, so far it looks kind of like bacon with two egg eyes. Let's practice a triangle. One, two, three, three sides. Let's practice our names. Remember my name? You say it. Miss Montaruli. Good job, Montaruli. It's a mouthful. 
okay, here's my practice, and I'm gonna wipe it off my, with my hands. Just kidding! We're never gonna wipe it off with our hands. Go ahead and erase with your sock or eraser. So that is our information about Expo markers. I also wanna remind you, when you are done, hi, when you are done with any of your school resources, put them right back where they were. Maybe you have a pencil box or a pencil cup at your desk, but I don't want you to go take this to your room or take this in the car, and then whenever I say, okay, get out your Expo marker, you don't remember where it is. If you put everything back where you started with it, you'll always know where it is. Does that sound good? Nod your heads if you agree. And give me a thumbs up and say, yeehaw. Good job. Okay, so that is our Expo marker info. Next, I need you to get some crayons, which should already be at your desk, and find this packet. Find this packet. On the top, it says, back to school color by listening. Find this packet. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Ready? 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You are doing great. Okay, I am going to read you these instructions, and this is to warm up your ears so that you are a very, very good listener in kindergarten and first grade. All right, let's actually give our ears a little massage. Mm. Wiggle them, wiggle them, give them a little whoop whoop. You guys in there? Maybe you can create some air so you can hear. My ears are ready. Are your ears ready? Give me a thumbs up if they are. Perfect. All right, so the first direction, get ready to listen, says, let's see, I see a number one at the bottom. That's step one. Color the bus yellow. Color the bus yellow. So I'm going to take my crayons and pull out the yellow crayon. I'm going to circle the word yellow so I remember the bus is yellow. So go ahead, let me give you a little bit more light there. Go ahead and color your bus yellow. I'm going to talk while I'm shading. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but we're not going really, really fast. We're going slow and steady. Take your time. I don't want to see any white pieces where I missed my coloring. But I don't want to color anything else because that wouldn't be part of my instructions. Color, color, color. Okay, my bus is yellow. If you're not ready, go ahead and push the pause button. You don't have to go as fast as I'm getting, as I'm going. Um, go ahead and pause if you're not ready to move on. If you are ready to move on, point to number two. Point to number two. All right, let's read the instructions. Color the stop sign red. Color the stop sign red. Okay, let's find our red crayon. Oops, this is like orangish red. Let's find our red crayon. And I'm gonna circle the word red in red. Hmm, point to the stop sign on your picture. 
point to the stop sign on your picture. Right here, it's the shape of an octagon. You say it, octagon. An octagon has eight sides. Okay, let's shade it in together, red. Take your time. Okay, that's what mine looks like. If you're not ready, push pause. You don't have to keep up with me. All right, let's point to number three on our directions. There's my three. Color the ladies' pants black. All right, let's pull out our black crayon. I'm going to circle the word black in black. All right, I think the lady holding the stop sign is what we're shading in and we're coloring her pants black. look good. If you're not ready, pause my video, take your time. All right, let's point to um, the fourth direction. Color the ladies vest orange. Color the ladies vest orange. Okay, I'm going to circle the word orange as a reminder. And let's color her vest. A vest is like a shirt that doesn't have sleeves. And I bet she's wearing that vest to keep herself safe so that cars can see her. Oh, mine looks a little red. I love how you're taking your time coloring. You're not rushing. You're doing your best. Looks nice. If you're not ready, push the pause button. You don't have to keep up with me. All right, so far you've done four whole steps. Great job. I can tell you really warmed up your listening ears. Color her hair black. Okay, I'm going to circle the word black. Color her hair black. All right, let's shade in her hair. Her hair is going to match her pants. Oops, a little bit I drew on her face. Is that all right? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, I love the way it looks so far. I'm ready to move on to question six. If you're not ready, pause my video. Okay, number six says, Color the driver's hair orange. Color the driver's hair orange. So I'm circling the word orange. 
All right, let's see. My driver has orange hair. Very nice. Okay, when you're ready, let's look at the last step. Number seven says, color the rest however you like. Wow, if yours matches mine, you are a great direction follower. Good job. Let's stretch out our hands from doing all that coloring. Nice work, guys. Now, I'm not going to do these the rest of the time. You and your family can work on these throughout the week and weekend. This could be part of your choice board. I wanna congratulate you because you did such a great job this week. I know it's not easy to sit and follow directions and listen the whole day, but you did such a good job. I can't wait to see all the hard work that you did today. Moms and dads, please send me a picture of all the directions that your kiddo followed today. Or whoever, whatever adult is at home with you, your adult, send that picture to me, please. I hope you had a great first week. I am so excited to talk to you in real life next week on our video chat. Can't wait to see you. Have a great weekend. Bye.